There's nothing like drinking out of your own children to start your day off right. Boys, I'd like you to meet your new stepbrothers, Alfonso and Ned. But don't worry, you won't have to share your rooms. They've been drafted into the army, and they're leaving soon to fight the aliens. Oh, cool. And we'll be the Blop Boys! Pam, Moon, let's see your sausage sachets for the opening parade. Mm, 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 mm. Ta-da! Ta Pickle March resuming in T-minus five minutes. And I can't wait for you to have a little me inside you. Mm, mm no, sir. You know what they say, nothing sexier than a senior sausage. Upsetting, gross, and against the spirit of sausage. It was embarrassing, but I covered for you by telling people you were just drunk. I'm not that tired, goon. Oh, no. I lived in the school for a week because my mom asked if I wanted to quote, unquote, go on a nice walk with her. And not to be crass, but I've done all of my best farts in there. All of them, Dad? What about Cousin Becca's communion? Ah, uh, yes. Who could ever forget the grumbler? They had to bring in new communion wafers. So, Amaro Tay. No. No Pig Latin either. Talk like a normal human man. Can I do an accent? The only accents you do are Old British Lady and Mario. It's a me, the Queenio. Is it weird if I get my husband a wedgie? Not at all. <laughs> Just ignore him. I know a shortcut to the place where you can get rid of that mattress that I desperately want. I mean that I don't want. <laughs> Should we trust him? Hmm. This is the part of the story where we make a bad decision. So yeah. Great choice, idiots. I mean, follow me. I used to pretend he was my twin brother. Fraternal, of course. Anyway, when my dad said I had to get rid of him, we buried him here. Great idea, my melon mommy. Please do not ever call me that again. Yeah, that's fair. All right, let's give them a jingle and arrange a male mingle. We got chocolates, peeps, boner pills. Shove it in your hat, the Pope. Ciao. Quiet, both of you, or I'll kick your slippery butts. Just like The Rock in that movie, Blueprints. Oh, he humiliated that dumbass city. Oh, hell yeah. We're doing the purge. This fight is kind of boring. Will you all just, like, die already? Beef boat, knock them out with kicking. <laughs> Oh, oh, hell no, oh, hell no, oh, hell no, oh, hell no, oh, hell no. The only thing that would make this worse is if I got hit by a taxi. <laughs> My scarves! tempur done it again. Set a meeting with them. Oh, and also text Moon and tell him he's a barf bag and he stinks. <laughs> Phoebe will probably stop by any minute to tell us she's pregnant with her brother's baby. I can't wait to cram these into my b-hole. Let me see your hands. You leave him out of this. It's me you want, not him. I'm not gonna arrest the moose. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Sing on the toilet now. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the <laughs> Lord. He hath loosed the faithful lightning with his terrible swift sword. Give my regards to Broadway. Remember me to Herald Square. <laughs> Maybe I could live under the house for a week or so. I've done it before. Or I could burn the house down. It's illegal to drop a moose from an airplane, so don't even think about it. Thank you, Moon. Always good to have a reminder. I'll be, uh, very horny. Normally I don't like that kind of language, but I'm just so sexual right now. I just can't control myself around you. I had a great talk with Pete while we were robbing a bank, and I realized that I'd never let you celebrate me because the little beef in me... Ooh, not a good way to say that. Uh, sorry, the, the, the small beef deep inside me. Also that. That was actually worse. Oh my god, fine. You don't know pride until you've seen your naked father crumpled in the snow in service of a dangerous turd drop stunt. Did you just have yourself wet the bed in your own story? Yeah, I do what it takes. I'll poop myself in my story if I have to. Well, she ate a volleyball in gym class because she thought it was a giant marshmallow, but I did make a promise. So I suppose I should marry her. These Tobinses, they have it. My special, my pressure point mattress. Oh, wait, you forgot my middle name. Oh, good catch. Ham, Pierce Brosnan, all is one word, Tobin. Wait, really? Mom had some wine during the birth. Ah hey, are you Beth? Oh, hi. No. Were you expecting a woman to drive a motorcycle into your truck? Yeah, Beth. Well, I'm not her. I'm not giving you the drugs hidden in these baguettes, then. Okay. So, how's your day going? Huh? had better, had worse. Crispin's a way better boyfriend than that tractor model. Never get soggy when I kiss him. It's like a hoodie with cheese. Honeybee's top three famous freebies are all stand-ups and hosts. Jim Gaffigan, Eddie Murphy, and our one overlap, the Microsoft Paperclip. Oh, you mean Clippy? Yeah, I'd let that happen. Oh, yeah, a growth spurt. And a uh, Judy spurt. Keep your meat lips zipped. Ugh, that sounded terrible, but I nonetheless stand behind it. 
Uh, hey, Santiago. Did you ever think how uh, your name starts with S? <laughs> S is like, so weird. It's like your name begins with a worm. <sighs> You're not the first person to say this. They used to call me Worm Name in school. I have to stop the ocean robots before they make me wear a work diaper. And now, a very different story about a man who makes pillow forts for ducks. I definitely saw one I'd love to die on when I'm exactly 89 years old. I'll be holding Crispin's hand and I'll whisper into his ear, If you ever marry again, I'll haunt your ass. Okay. The whole family's in a big feud because Moon and Ham both entered the Little Mr. Ketchikan Canned Sausage Gentleman pageant. Uh, I'm sorry, but did you just say the Little Mr. Ketchikan Canned Sausage Gentleman pageant? I did say the Little Mr. Ketchikan Canned Sausage Gentleman pageant. Oh, God. Honeybee, meet me at the Russian restaurant in one hour. I have to tell you something very important about that pageant. You're scaring me, Brian. Good. Imagine being named Beef Blop. I'm just here to see one of my nephews destroy my other nephew during a sausage contest. Standard uncle stuff. I also have sex with a lot of people. I think it's Smells a little like butt and a lot like ass. Moon? Butt. Yes! And she said she was gonna fart a lot. So I have never actually been on a real date. Not even with a ghost? Uh, no, not even with a ghost. You did fart a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. I was having a dream where I could fart so strongly that my anus worked as a sort of jetpack. And then I bonked my head on the bottom of a helicopter. <laughs> Is Mountain Man Marv on our property again? He'll leave after he finishes filling his pillowcases with pine cones. I so promise not to kill you, Cody. So promise. I just don't want to find out one day that you've become pen pals with the serial killer and you gave him our address. Who, Charlie the Choker? Oh, don't worry. There's no way that guy's getting paroled. Wolf! Horrific crimes. Sweet guy, though. I like to stick snow in my armpits and think of funny comebacks I should have said during the day. That's insane. Who doesn't love some tinkle talk? I know! I'm a great urinal conversationalist, and I'm gonna stab him with my charm poon. Eh, who could resist putting on some warm, fresh dad? I just found out the woman I'm dating is my aunt, so now our anniversary's ruined. His name is Jabiathan. Well, I am happy for you, I guess. And Jabriacram. Jabiathan. Jabirthian. Sure. Jabarkakon. Joblerone. Jabraki? Jabiathan. It's a mill. There's a lot of grain. You know what? I don't want to ruin it for you. In case Jamiroquoi takes you there. Jabanaram is neat. Guess I'll go take one last poop in a real toilet before we go. But I'm going to use leaves to wipe just to get me in the mood. Oh, hell yeah. I'll F that pee. And by F that pee, I mean fill that pothole. I am happy that is what you meant. I don't know whether I'll snuggle up in a badger or spread out in a moose, but there's no softer pillow than a fresh spleen. I really mean this, Ham. You could be a famous murderer. Oh, thank you. Are you kidding me, Ham? This helps the ripping and also the slamming and the slapping. Ah! I see you, Terminators! That's my trash can! Don't you touch it! I'm gonna get you! Ah! Okay, truth or dare, Bethany. Truth. But I'll be honest with you guys, I'm going to lie. Are you suggesting we eat a person? I mean, I'm not saying no. Maybe we should dress up like old Scottish nannies together. When she drove off the road, she was on her way to meet me at a Batman sex party. I'm sure you've heard of those. We have not. Sticks, the fists of the trees. Dang it, the one day I didn't wear my Batman costume under my regular clothes. <laughs> uh, Coconut Tobin actually does sound like a name of a sibling we would have. Mm, leaving school naked seems risky, but if that's what it takes. I'm sure we can sneak in. And it's full of animals. We can find one to eat and a few to befriend. I'm also picturing us riding a motorcycle together, but that can't be right. Yes, I'll get your juice box. Just wait a minute. This year, we will just have a nice, normal turd festival. May our love for each other shine like a pile of turds in the morning light. So ever since then, I've been munching moose grass pretty hard. Honey, no. What? That sounds... Never mind. Go on. I was really hungry yesterday, so I think I might have eaten too many sticks. I, I can tell they're creating a sort of a beaver dam situation in there. I'm gonna think about that sentence for the rest of my life. Let's pinch him together. Legs or butt? I'm sure lone moosers are too sensible to buy fish excreted from a robot. Ugh. I just hope it's less attractive than Rosie from the Jetsons. I used to dream about her and her vacuum. I was the rug. Reminder, you may not use the bathroom during work hours. For maximum efficiency, please urinate in your work diaper. I mean, none of them have peed in nine hours. Or they have, Ooh, which is even worse. And Dad, when we get home, I'm going to put the laptop in the toilet just for you. Wonderful. Oh, poor Meldrick. Selling soft serve ice cream is his whole life. Well, that and cooking meth. I keep a little ball of clay in my bra. It stays moist because I have a ton of boob sweat. Thank you, Louie. Oh, it's actually Looney. My first name is Looney, short for Loonjamin. Cool hero line. 
Babe, did you want to say a cool hero line but then couldn't come up with one? I'll go to the junkyard and get my ultimate Mad Max-style rescue vehicle out of her maxi pad. That's what I call the shed I keep her in. I also keep my maxi pads in there. You just have a Mad Max-style rescue vehicle sitting around? Of course. I also have maxi pads. Did you hear that part? We should get out of here. What about the kids? Oh, right. Of course. You guys like them? Yes! And I'm sorry to tell you this, son, but the whole school could blow at any moment. What? Yeah. Don't tell any of the other kids. We wouldn't want to cause a panic. <gasps> oh, dear. Am I on speakerphone? No? Hi, Dad. Hi, Judy. Feels like you can get killed by a bunch of irresponsible adults almost anywhere these days. And I'll call the Lone Moose Senior Archery Club so they can set up a perimeter. They are terrible at archery, but it's better than nothing. And maybe a couple of them will let themselves get eaten if need be. They've lived full lives. And perhaps it was foolish of me to ask you to not injure yourselves being stupidly competitive. After all, we're Alaskans. We get burnt. We fall in holes. We die too young. And we can't change. And we won't change. We outright refuse. Because life's too short not to die once in a while. Hush Moon Race Hart Jr. Senior the third, remember what I said. Papa's gonna buy himself a race car bed. And if that race car bed still runs, Papa's gonna give it to his youngest son. And that's why we have to go to war with Winnipeg. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go listen to some Justin Guarini and fart in my bed one last time.